Australia head into the second Ashes test with at least one change in a must-win match at Lords. Peter Neville will replace Brad Haddon after the veteran announced his withdrawal from the test due to family reasons. I think this, this time right now is, is pretty important that we respect uh, the privacy of, of the Haddon family um, and give him you know, this chance to, to be with his family. I'm, I'm really confident that uh, we'll see more of Brad Haddon throughout this series and he'll play a big part in the rest of this series. Just right now I think he, he needs his time and that's what we're trying to do as players. Despite the difficult circumstances, Neville is excited to be making his test debut at the home of cricket. Yeah, my thoughts are obviously with the Haddons, um, but it is a tremendous honour and privilege to, to play cricket for your country um, and to join, you know, to wear the illustrious baggy green. It's um, a thing that's things that dreams are made of, really. Australia captain Michael Clark hasn't been given the final 11, but it appears Shane Watson will make way for young all-rounder Mitchell Marsh. The news broke overnight that Marsh was set to play, leaving Clark wondering how the story was leaked. See, it's just the way the world works these days, with uh, certainly with social media and um, the amount of journalists you see in the room. There's, there's people everywhere. There's normally someone at breakfast, someone in the corner of your bedroom, someone, <laughs> someone everywhere these days. So, you know, if decisions are made, then or if things have been leaked, then they've been leaked. England all-rounder Moen Ali is still nursing a sore side, but that won't rule him out of the Lord's Test. Yeah, he's pretty good. To be honest with you, I will make the final call tomorrow, but he, um, it was more precautionary yesterday. Um, a little bit. Felt his side a tiny bit um, in the last game, but obviously it was his previous history. Um, the medical team are like, wrapping people up in cotton wool, but he should be fine. He broke one yesterday in the nets. The Australians had a special guest at training on Wednesday, with youngster Tom from Alice Springs joining Clark and the Aussies for a once-in-a-lifetime day at the home of cricket. That's the media stand there, so all newspaper, radio, television. For all your news scores and video from Australia's Qantas tour of the British Isles, stay connected to cricket.com.au. Pretty cool, huh? Like it? Yeah. Watch every Ashes moment live. And this is like the days of Lillian Thompson. Buy your live pass at cricket.com.au slash subscribe.